Hello YouTube, welcome back, Everton here. Today we are building the SwiftUI version of the Groceries app. This is the SwiftUI version. We have the welcome screen. On a tap, we get to the categories screen. So it's the same app and we will see how much simpler it is to build with SwiftUI. So let's get right into it. Head over to Xcode, choose app, click next. Let's call it Groceries app, SwiftUI. Choose Swift UI, Swift, click next, choose a folder, click create, and here we have the initial screen. First, I want to drag and drop the helpers so we can speed up our development. So the helper is just like I used in the other project, in the YKit version. Make sure to check cop items if needed. I'm gonna provide these files for you in the description. Okay, so click finish. We have here just the view model. See, we have here the Swift UI color to match the Swift UI. And we have the helpers that there's the color extension and the images. Okay, so first let's delete this, this file. I want to start fresh. For some reason, my previews keeps crashing on me when I rename files. So I'm gonna just create a new one. So command N, choose Swift UI view. Next, I'm gonna call it welcome view. Create. So I'm gonna make this view the initial view here on the on the app okay cool we have a text here another thing that i forgot to drag and drop here is the image the images so i'm just gonna drag and drop here the images for the project so here we have all the images we need so i'm gonna go with a similar approach that i took with the real kit version of the app first i'm gonna set the background image so what do i have to do in swift UI to set a background image so i have to start with the z stack right because I want everything to be on top of the image. So image, UI image, images, welcome, background. Okay, I want this to be resizable, scale to fill, to fill. And I want to ignore the safe area. Edges, ignore safe area to fill up all the screen. Okay, so here we have the background view. All right, so I'm gonna take a similar approach here. I'm gonna start from bottom up with the button okay okay so we will need a v stack right because we have the button and the title and description and everything so let's start with the button with action label okay so we have this button here so i want to put this button let's say action here and the label of the button will be get started so get started get started so this text should be white, right? Foreground color, white. And I'm gonna take a font here, system font, uh, 18. And the weight will be Simon Bold. And the design, rounded. Design, rounded. Let's close this to get more room, okay? So we have here our button, very shy here. So, okay, I want to put this button at the bottom, right? So I need to is a spacer here so we're gonna put this button at the bottom okay all the way to the bottom all right so what do what i want to do i want to expand the button to adjust to the size of the width right and with a 30 spacing on the leading and on the trailing okay and the 90 below so first i need to adjust the frame of the bottom to max width and set to infinity i'm just saying that take how much space you can on this on the width that's what this is doing Okay, I want a padding on top and bottom on the vertical inside the bottom at 16 and the background color will be the helpers I, I drag and drop, grocery's green. So here you have the bottom, okay, and it's take all the width of the screen, okay. Let's set a corner radius to 12. And then I want the bottom to have some padding on the trailing and on the leading. So we're gonna have a padding horizontal by 30. So as you can see, I have a frame of infinity, but I have a padding on horizontally by 30 on each side. And now I just need to set the padding on the bottom by 90. And that's it, the button is ready. As simple as that. One thing you, keep, you need to keep in mind with Swift UI is that the order here matters. So if I change here the, the order, for example, the background color, after the the padding you see it didn't took the padding and after the corner radius it didn't took did they apply the corner radius and why is that why is this happen because swift UI, we have this body 
this body here. This body is a computed property with the type some view. Yeah. It's, so this body is gonna return some view, all right? And each one of these are a view, right? So it need to return a view. And what these things does? These are view modifiers. What view modifiers does to your view? It take your view, in this case the button, made some changes and return another view. So you are applying the the modification not on the main view, which is the button. We, you are applying the modification on the previous modification. Get it? So when I say background color, this green, I'm applying on what is returning for the padding. And the padding is applying in what is returning for the frame. You get it? So if you check here the type, we have here the frame, it returns some view. The padding, you see here, it returns some view. You see? Everything is returning some view, and when we apply a new modifier, it's modifying the previous view, not the main view. Okay, so keep that in mind when you are debugging layout problem problems with SwiftUI. Check the order which you, you are applying. Okay, okay, we have our button. So now it's simple stuff, you know, you just need two more texts and a logo. Alright, so here on top of the button, a text, and the text says let's just copy the text here okay have the a text here let's set the font system let's just copy and paste here to make it easier okay we have the font here but it will be regular not I'm about regular okay and the color foreground color would be colors color dot description all right and I will apply some padding to the bottom padding bottom okay looking good now I need the title all right so let's just copy this part and now we need a title the title is welcome to our store just welcome to our store okay and it should be white all the font is let's say about and the size 48 okay I need to align this all right multi text align center all right center and we need the color white okay and just need now a padding the bottom right mm, let's say hey okay looking good and now we just need our logo right i'm just gonna copy this piece here and the image is gonna be the logo okay so need to scale to fit and now we need a frame right frame with the width of 48 okay maybe it's not yeah seems right and that's it <laughs> yeah that's the welcome view so you see how much simpler it is and yeah let's get started on building the categories screen i want to do something here and on this screen we need to navigate to the categories screen right so we need to wrap this z stack on a navigation stack which is the swift ui way of navigating these days so a handy shortcut you can use to help you visualize is to select the open curly braces and hit command option left arrow so you can fold your code you and you can see better and another one is to select your stack and hit command shift a and bad in v stack or, or any of this and then we can just change it to whatever you want so navigation stack all right so i'm gonna fold this stack so here is where i'm gonna navigate right so here i use the navigation destination so for now i'm just gonna navigate to actually i'm gonna use the navigation destination with this binding Okay, for now I'm just navigate to a text, right? Categories, screen. And here I need a binding variable. So I'm just gonna create a state here. State, private var, present categories. And I'm gonna set to false, all right? And here I'm gonna pass it, just present categories, right? And I'm gonna trigger this event on the tap of the bottom. So I'm gonna trigger here, right? Present categories, dot toggle. Okay, let's check. Okay, looking good. And now we just need to build the categories screen and put here where is the text, all right? So let's get started. Let's create a new file and call it categories view. Okay, we have here our categories view. So I'm gonna start with a navigation stack already. So we need a navigation stack. Inside, I'm gonna need a scroll view, right? Because I need to scroll 
the item. And the type of items I want to show, I want to show side by side, like these cards here, okay? And we also need the search bar, all right? Let's first set up the find products, title and the search bar, all right? So inside the scroll view, we're gonna have a navigation title, right? It's find product. And the style is not the style, I need the inline style, which is this small one here on the top. So I'm gonna change the style, navigation bar title display mode, and inline, okay, have that here now. And I want to hide the back button, because there's no back button here. So I'm gonna hide here, navigation bar, hide, hide, yes, true. And I want to not show the scroll indicator here. On the right side so I'm gonna hide as well so scroll indicators scroll indicator visibility never okay and in Swift UI we have this cool feature that will build exactly this is the searchable modifier so if I just had here searchable searchable we will have this nice we need to we need a binding here let's just create here first state var search text and here search text so here we have the search bar already this is pretty cool remember that the amount of work you had to do to add the search bar with Wikid this is awesome so I, I also want to set another parameter here called placement because I don't want to the search bar to disappear when we scroll right so I want to make it always visible display mode always all right and we also need the this text the placeholder text it's called prompt and the placeholder text is search star search star okay nice all right so now we need to create our our grid right for this in swift we have this lazy v grid all right and you take the columns and here i want to create first the columns and explain it to you columns so i want to present column I want to present the columns side by side, two by two, right? So I need two grid items. I have this thing called grid item, and we can pass it flexible, that will adjust according to the size of the screen, right? So I need two of these. You can set a lot of more stuff with this grid item, like fixed size and everything, but I want to be resizable to fit the size of the screen, okay? So I have two grid items, it's gonna show side by side. Let's just put text here. Okay, we have here this text and just show you one text. Okay, but now I want to loop over my items that I drag and drop here on this view model. All right, for this, I will need a for each. So we have the category card model here, which is identifiable. We need this to actually loop over. Okay, so we go for here and add a for each for each. But first, to assess this view model I need to instantiate it right so we need a view model here I have a view model categories view model okay so in my for each here I'm gonna pass the view model view model dot categories list and I need some ID right I'm gonna call it self self dot ID all right and this is a closure so I need an item I need to return something here so I, I have here this list and each item is the items of this list, each item of this. So I'm just, just gonna pass the item name to our grid view. So I'm here, I'm gonna pass the item name, item.name, okay? Oh, I need to put inside, right? <laughs> okay, what's complaining here? Okay, Xcode was complaining on me because I forgot to drag and drop one image, so it was crashing, but it's all right now. So we have here the item names. I'm actually gonna put more space in here. Okay, have some spacing and you need some padding as well, right? So I'm gonna put some padding here in the scroll view. Padding, horizontal, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, looking good. We're getting our items here. Let's make some more room here. So for me, everything looking good here. We just need to create a card, right? This card, okay? So let's create another file. Command N, Swift UI view, category card, right? Category card, okay. So I'm gonna start with a V stack to be the background. So I'm gonna just just command shift A here. Oh no, okay, V stack. All right, so we have a text, an image, 
in a border right so let's create an image of an image here ui image so the image is come is gonna come from the model here from the from the view model right so i need to receive a model here so i'm just just gonna get this model here and receive on the card so let model so I need this model to build the app. So I need to receive here. And here I'm just gonna copy and paste some of the, let's say this one, to build the preview. So here I build the previews and here I need the image. So the model dot image, right? So the image must be resizable, must fit, right? Scale to fit, scale to fit. And I'm gonna put a frame of 75. It's about of height 75, height 75, which is about the height we have here right okay so I, I want to put up the background and the border so on the vstack I will, I will set the frame width of 170 and height about 190 so we have a frame but we have no color yet so we need to get the color from the model background color we have the model dot color right okay we have the color here but now we need a corner radius right let's say 20 okay looking good you know one thing to put the border here is really tricky to to wrap the border with this corner radio okay so the best solution is to create an overlay so create an overlay okay and you wrap around it rectangle rounded rectangle around it around the rectangle with the corner radius as exactly the same as the corner radius of the background 20 with a stroke right the stroke and the stroke is gonna have the background the border color from the model okay border color and a width of two okay this is looking good right so we just need the text here below so here i'm gonna put the text and the text is gonna get is gonna get them the name from the model right model.name and just need to set the font okay system font size 16 and semi bold the weight and the style, the design, I meant, rounded. Okay, looking good, right? So we have our card. So to finish this, we need to pass our card to the categories view, right? So here, let's make some more room. Instead of receiving the text, I'm just passing the card, right? Categories card, right? And the card receives a model, which is the same model as the item, right? And that's it. We have here the, the scrollable behavior. Let's make less spacing here. Let's say 16. Okay. So it's look like look like there's too many too much space here on the middle. So in the categories card, I'm gonna set the width to 175. Yeah, looking better. Way better. Okay, in the categories view, yeah looking way better so now we just need to pass this this screen on the welcome screen right so in the welcome view instead of passing the text here i'm passing the categories view okay let's try and that's it the app is done it's for me, it's amazing how much simpler SwiftUI is compared to UIKit. You know, you made everything like with one third maximum of, of lines of code. <laughs> this is just amazing. And that's it, guys. We have here both projects. I'm gonna provide for you the both finished products in the description below so you can take both and compare you know for uh, building this grid what I should do with SwiftUI what I should do with Waikit and maybe you have a clue you know to make some associations about how you can approach both platforms and that's it I hope you enjoy and let's see you on the next video bye bye